It's exciting to have everyone here on a nice summer day. I want to uh, first, uh, on behalf of, uh, well, I should probably introduce myself because not everybody knows me. Uh, I'm Chris Zimmerman. I'm the president and CEO of the Enterprise Center of this building, which we'll talk about in a second, as well as the St. Louis Blues. And really, on behalf of our partners who helped bring this building back, Chris McKee, as well as, bro as his brother, Joe McKee, uh, on behalf of Tom Stillman and the entire Blues Ownership Group who rounds out the partnership. I want to thank everybody because this building is a special, special part of our city and today's another exciting day for it. For more than 80 years, this building has stood tall and proud anchoring downtown. St. Louis here at the corner of 14th and Market. It began as the Kiel Opera House, hosting many of the most prominent entertainment acts in the world, such as Frank Sinatra, Ray Charles, Bob Dylan, and the Rolling Stones. And it's a tradition that is close and dear to our heart that we have carried forward um, since the reopening. After a long run of success, the building shut its doors in 1991 and then there was a period of transition as we built the arena next door, which was, became the Kiel Center, and which today is Enterprise Center. In July 2010, with our partners, we stood in this very lobby, covered in 20 years of dust, and announced plans for renovating and reopening this beautiful venue, defying the naysayers and doubters while inspiring those who not only dared to dream, but believed in what is possible in our community. On that day, a commitment was made to our community to bring life back to this part of Market Street. The theater has reemerged over the last eight years, hosting more than 500 ticketed events and welcoming over a million guests. From opening night in 2011, when Aretha Franklin and Jay Leno were the headliners. We've hosted a broad and diverse range of shows that appeal to every audience and community here in St. Louis and throughout the Midwest, including Willie Nelson, Chris Rock, Nicki Minaj, Kinky Boots, the Avid Brothers, from kids' shows to Neil deGrasse Tyson. The theater has captured the imagination and the dreams of people of all ages. And we've been more than just an entertainment venue with the use of our private event space, hosting corporate events, graduations similar to uh, back in the old days, uh, and the facility being recognized as, as one of the top wedding spots in the country by Brides Magazine. This building has exceeded our expectations and yet its potential and what lies ahead is vast. We have a lot to celebrate and even more to look forward to. And so that's why we're here today. I'm thrilled to welcome our, part, our partner, a partner who's been with us for a while and now in an expanded role, the chairman and CEO of Stiefel, Ron Krzyzewski. Wow, Chris, I didn't realize you had so many friends. I don't know anyone here, and you've, uh, congratulations. Um, you know, uh, for more than a century, Stiefel's been dedicated to this community, and specifically St. Louis. It's, great, it's with great pleasure and pride we get to partner with such a historic, historic structure within the community that we all know and love. This venue has elevated the downtown experience by bringing in quality entertainment and providing a striking backdrop, as you've mentioned, for private and corporate events. As of today, we're officially standing in Stiefel Theater. This partnership is part of a 10-year commitment that we've made to continue the impact of this building 
within our community. Let's take a look. The number one family show is back. I love Lucy. Nice work if you can get it. Wanda Sykes. Visit PeabodyOperaHouse.com to order yours today. Fly me to the moon. May I say what a tremendous thrill it is to appear in St. Louis. Well, after over 75 years, the building on Market Street between 14th and 15th in downtown St. Louis once again is a construction site. And we're talking about the Keel Opera House. It will not, however, resurface 14 months from now under its original name. You know, I can't tell you how excited I am personally to be able to be part of this great, uh, this great facility. I think all of us should, should make it a point to not only come here and some of the great shows that we're going to have here, but come back downtown. We need to come downtown. We need to support downtown. Without downtown, we really have nothing other than a great downtown. It makes our other communities great, which they are, but all of us, we should commit when you leave here tonight, come down, have dinner, come down and support downtown. So our investment within this block of downtown, I'm going to tell you, it doesn't end here. We continue our support of the St. Louis Blues and the Enterprise Center. Next door at the Enterprise Center, the Blues launched the very successful theater boxes last year. This upcoming season, Stiefel is proud to be a partner with the Blues and rename this area as well. The Bull and Bear by Stiefel. It's going to be a fun place. I want, uh, we'll have a few after game events that we'll invite all of you to, so we'll hope you'll come. Uh, and it's, uh, it's where the theater boxes are today. It'll be the Bull and Bear. So like the Stiefel Theater, this will also be a 10-year commitment to the St. Louis Blues and the Enterprise Center. And again, thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Thank you. As I look around the room, there are a lot of critical partners from Mayor Krusen to our friends, over, the O'Loughlin's over at Union Station. I want to thank Peabody Energy for the support that they've given us. You know, so much of what happens in this building, in next door, with, with our teams, with so many of the community assets that make St. Louis a great place. It is our business partners like Stiefel and like so many others that are in this room that really carry us forward. If you think about what's happening downtown from the reopening of the arch grounds, obviously the phase two construction at Ballpark Village, the rebirth across the street at Soldiers Memorial, and of course the work over at Union Station with the upcoming aquarium, the carousel, there's more and more reason that we're driving people downtown and continuing to build momentum for our city. As we revel in today's news, the headline for me and for everyone who worked hard to make this happen is the future. The glorious past and present of this venue are evident, but it's the future that should get us all excited. The future of this community treasure, and by extension, the future of our downtown. Seafield Theater's future is already populated with marquee shows in the months ahead, like Earth, Wind and Fire, Jason Isbell, Christina Aguilera, Vince Gill, Alice Cooper, and one of our most treasured local shows, the annual Musical Awards. There's so much that is happening here. It's a diverse set of entertainment, and it's the people in this room, it's the key corporate partners that make this all possible. 
As Ron said, the new name is effective immediately. As in all of these, there may be a few straggling signs as we work through that. As many of you know, we are also um, doing lots of work next door. Uh, Stiefel's involvement in the Bull and Bear is, is another valuable piece of our partnership, and we can't thank you enough. We go forward with so much to believe in around our city, around these venues, and around what we can make St. Louis going forward. So I thank you. We will have drinks and some food available. Uh, Ron and I will be available for any one-on-ones or questions. And again, I thank everyone for your help, your support, and your partnership. Thanks. Thank you.